Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm back at House of Ours Homegrown Songwriter Showcase. Only this time, we're in a whole new place. In an almost unprecedented move, the Vegas Strip Casino, The Strat, is showcasing local music inside Remix Lounge. This venue has a great vibe and is easy to get to, making it a great place to have the show. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss new videos. With 18 performers on the bill, this showcase was packed with amazing talent of multiple genres. Let's not waste any more time, shall we? And ignore the slot machines, okay? The action's on stage, man! Located on Las Vegas Boulevard, just north of Sahara Boulevard, the Strat is part of the iconic Las Vegas cityscape. On the casino floor, you'll find Remix Lounge, designed for live entertainment in an intimate setting. The bar is centered between the stage and the casino floor, with seating on either side of the dance floor. The stage is well lit and made every act look great. There's a sound person as well, which added another layer of professionalism to the event. Oh, and if you're worried about heights and how tall the Strat is, don't worry, you're on the ground floor for this one. Yeah! Starting the show off was our inimitable host, Hal Sabar. Hal was joined on stage by his band. Warming up the crowd is Hal's specialty, and it's a tough act to follow. Fortunately, the next performer was up to the challenge. That would be Sage Waters, who will be coming on the channel very soon for an interview. Just like pretty much every other act of the evening. If you'd like to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, Click my social media link in the description and uh, hit me up. Or just drop a comment below. We'll have a good time. Resplendent in red sequins, Sage was joined on stage by her friend and bass player, Scott Slahey, along with House of R playing his signature rhinestone guitar during her opening number before she grabbed her own electric. Sage's vocal styling seesawed between lyrical, drawn out notes and rapid fire vocals that created dynamic tension and was a great start to the show. Up next was Hello Coco, singing along to a track that she brought for the occasion. This was her very first time performing in front of people, and she did remarkably well. Coco's singing evokes a little bit pop and a little gospel, and I see good things in her future as she grows in experience and confidence. Act number three was Russ Lacasse, who I'm actually interviewing this week. Russ is a Grammy-recommended songwriter whose time in Nashville comes through in his laconic singing style. Russ got the crowd singing along as he combined elements of Willie Nelson, Tom Petty, and his own unique sound. He's super supportive of all local music, and I'm looking forward to having him on the channel. Next batter up was Johnny Fab and his giant electric piano. Johnny's a name that's been around Vegas for quite a while, and he managed to evoke a classic Vegas lounge vibe while playing his original music. With upbeat rhythms starting people clapping, as he tickled the ivories and a voice that somehow sounded old and young at the same time, Johnny was a crowd favorite and actually was one of a couple acts that played twice that night. Continuing the piano trend and another performer from Arizona, the audience was next treated to the soulful sounds of Angie. Angie's songwriting comes from the heart and is filled with equal parts hope and pain. Her music is familiar and unique at the same time, and as she transitioned from piano to guitar, we learned that her musical journey is still ongoing. Coming up next was Aubrey Digital, who is also part of House of Ours Band. Her style of singing took the night in another direction, with elements of acoustic folk mixing with alternative love songs. Aubrey's lyrics are clever and well thought out in a way that reminded me of Jason Mraz and, and other great wordsmiths. Combined with in-song changes in pace and singing style, her songs are interesting and keep the listener paying attention. After a second performance by Johnny Fab, it was time for friend of the channel, Casey Stickley from Second Echo, to take the stage. Casey's set was one of my personal high points of the night, having reviewed his work and interviewed him in two different bands. He plays with confidence and an innate understanding of the power of silence within a song, and his singing makes it clear why he's sought out as a frontman. Swinging the pendulum of the night back to the vocalist singing to a track side of things, the next act was Denise, who has performed with some heavy hitters in the industry. Despite having a bit of a sore throat, Denise powered through with a performance that highlighted her powerhouse singing style. 
I'm looking forward to hearing her when she's in full force. Following Denise was a touch of Americana rock, courtesy of Lennon Roach. Coming out of the gate swinging, Lennon and his guitarist proceeded to blow people away with powerful guitar licks, emotional vocals, and lyrics about familiar themes. Plus, I always appreciate a good hat and a magnificent beard. After a brief set by our host, Hal Savar, the next act was Chalmer, another man with a magnificent beard. With a powerful message in each song, Chalmer combines strong vocals and passion over simple guitar chords so the listener gets the pure essence of what he's trying to convey. Next in line was David Rice, whose songwriting seems focused on more storytelling with melodic vocals. David's music is introspective and sweet and can really make you think. Thanks a lot, David. David also performed in the act coming up right after him, which would be Troyell and her band. Troyell flipped the script on the night with an almost jam-like sound from the band and soaring vocals from her. With elements of R&B sprinkled throughout, the set was short but transcendent. It really felt like the band was taking you on a musical journey and you felt a little sad when it was over. Next was a surprise performance from David Wax, who I'm hoping to get on the channel soon. I first saw David at the first Homegrown Songwriter Showcase I reviewed at the Artisan Hotel. You can see that review here. Like last time, David was professionalism personified with a tight sound that had been crafted over many years. It's always a pleasure to watch him perform. After David was recent friend of the channel, Zoe Day. I also reviewed Zoe on that review video I just mentioned, so definitely make sure you check it out after watching this one. Zoe always brings passion and soul to her singing, and this night was no exception. She knows how and when to modulate her volume and draws the listener in before hammering her message home. Coming up next was Cameron Paul, the last performer singing to a track of the evening. Cameron sure had some fans in the crowd, and his energy and smooth vocal flow made him an audience favorite immediately. Cameron's music could be considered R&B, and the love vibes were in full effect as he performed. Expect great things from this young man in the future. After a couple of more songs from Aubrey, a new challenger emerged, and this one came to play. With seven or eight people in the band, Intuitive Soul were a great choice to close out the night. Their sound was big yet nuanced, fun yet professional, and jazzy yet soulful. I'm not sure how we're going to get that many people in room six, but we're gonna give it a shot, dang it. Overall, the first homegrown songwriter showcase at the Strat inside the Remix Lounge was a success, and I'm looking forward to the next one and more. If you're in the area, swing by at 7 p.m. and check out all the acts. And if not, I'll be live streaming right here on the channel, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll swing by the Strat when you get a moment. Check out Remix Lounge. And also, hop on the live stream if you're not there. Um, other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I really would appreciate it. It really does make a difference. Just click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Um, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time in room six.